hope you guys are all doing amazing thank you for tuning in to today's video today's video is our favorite video and that's a dollar tree haul dun, 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 dun. spring has arrived at dollar tree and it has to be one of my favorite times to shop there because not only do they get new spring stuff they also get easter new floral new organization they bring out a bunch of new stuff that's in really beautiful colors and today's haul is a big haul but i'm not going to share everything that i got because i have gone overboard i have gone crazy my husband is he's a little bit fed up but i'm not going to share everything that i got i'm just going to go through and share my favorite things things that i'm going to be using things that i was excited about and things i think you guys should be on the lookout for i like to always start with the thing that i was most excited about and i was most excited about dun, 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 dun. normally i don't share diys but this is what i was really really excited about so boom so this is the dollar tree totes these have been so so popular i've seen so many people diy different ideas this is the one that i diy i painted it white and chalk paint i followed a uh, instagram picture i'll put the picture up here on the screen she was totally my inspiration and then i just added in like my own floral and the dollar tree easter bunnies from last year and a little birdhouse and i like to hang it on the back there but i wanted to show you guys first so these are the totes that i um that i redid I got a bunch of them because God only knows what I'm going to do with them. So we have the blue ones and then we also have these gray ones. And inside I just put the flowers. Oh, look how beautiful does that look? Some of these are from other places, but I mixed them all together. And this is the one that I wanted to show you guys. So here are the ones that I wanted to show you. It's called Wisteria. It's on a super long stem. They have them in different colors. So they have them in like more of like a lighter purpley pink. You can mix those together. They had them in white as well. And then a darker purple. When I saw these, I thought this was super beautiful and pretty for spring. And you can do a lot with them. So if those long ones are not your style, they also have these wild flowers and these are so cool because it's on like a more of a matte boxwood so it's not as it looks different than the typical Dollar Tree floral so they had them in blue and I think they had purple so blue yellow and purple and it's a good size of them they look really pretty and they look good you can tell that they're fake but they look good so I really like that so lastly if those flowers are not your style they have more greenery it's just straight up greenery and these are probably my favorite because you can do so much with it. And it's Dollar Tree's version of, oh, they just call it foliage, but I would call this like boxwood. You could do a wreath with this. You could add it in with some florals just to give it some nice green. The color is not fantastic, but it's good. It's more of like a lighter lighter matte green so I like that so Dollar Tree has this lavender that they've had for a couple of years now I'll put a picture up if you guys remember the old lavender that they had and it was with the lamb's ear it looked so much better I wish that they would go back to that because this one is not really my favorite like the leaves I don't really like and these things shed really really bad but it's nice if you want to get it for on a budget. I just feel like you could find these other places that look a little bit nicer, but I picked those up to show you guys. And then another really cool one are these yellow ones. These yellow flowers are called Larkspur. I have no clue. But this is, to me, is like a really nice spring color, especially for Easter. You could do this in a DIY, and it's a good amount of them, and these look really, really nice, just like the wildflowers. Now I want to share with you guys the spring section, which is not the Easter stuff, but Dollar Tree put out a whole new line of spring stuff, and it was really, really nice. So here are some pot holders. It says, Hello Spring, and to me, this reminded me a lot of Pioneer Woman. So here are two different kitchen towels. These are the typical Dollar Tree kitchen towels. This one says, Here Comes Spring. And then they have these, which I really loved. It's basically just a plain floral, and I love that it doesn't have any words or writing on it, and the flowers look good. So to match those few things, there are some new signs, and this one is probably my favorite. It says, here comes spring. There is a little bit of glitter on it, but I love the yellow color. And then this one says, welcome spring. Here's one that says, hello spring. And then this one is really nice too because it has birds on there. So this one just says spring is in the air. So these are all matching, I guess. So they have some little napkins and they call this their spring fling line. So 28 napkins, they have the little square ones, the more rectangular ones. And this one has like bluebirds on there. And then I love this one. It says hello spring with flower basket. So I thought for your bar cart or in your kitchen, you could have these out. I'm going to use them on the little 
little bar cart that I have here, and I think that they're going to look really, really nice. So I got those. So I got two of these little windmills, or what do they call this? Welcome sign. Welcome sign. But it's like one of those little barn things, and I've seen some DIYs like that. I think uh, Mama from Scratch did one. I love this. You could paint this to make this black, and it will look a little bit better, I, I personally think. Another thing that I'm completely obsessed with is this sign that they have at Dollar Tree. It says Fresh Lemonade, and last year I was not really into the lemon trend. I did not really love, like, care for it. I just was like, oh, whatever. This year, I love it. So I went and got, like, little fake lemons. I plan on doing something with this I want to use this in a DIY so if it comes out the way that I imagine in my head I will but I really really love it the picture looks really cute when I went to Dollar Tree I they called these like wreath something like wreath charms so this one is just a circle it says hope with a flower this one is just like a little vase of flowers and then they have this one that says blossom and I thought these were really cute and then the last thing that I was super duper excited about for spring is the wrapping paper. They have the most beautiful wrapping paper out right now at Dollar Tree. They have ones with little bicycles on it, a darker blue, and then they have this one. This is absolutely gorgeous. You could use this to decorate like a wall decor piece if you wanted to do a DIY that way, or you could use this to wrap gifts. I think either way, having like a patterned paper in this really beautiful print is amazing. So I love that. Here is a little infinity scarf. In this blue and white buffalo check this is going to be perfect for summer this to me screams summer I love this pattern you guys know if you've been here before me and buffalo check were like this there is a lot of new ribbon and yarn and all kinds of good stuff at Dollar Tree right now so I want to share with you guys what I got so one thing that I was really excited about I don't even know what this is like if I went to Joann's and I saw this I wouldn't really know what to do with it but I thought that these little furry balls at the end would be perfect for like doing some type of wreath or a bunny's tail or something because they're like super small but they're already together you could just snip them off but they're also on yarn so you right here you can see she has them like on a scarf but I'm like for Easter DIY this is going to be really cool so I got two of those I was really 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 excited to see yarn at Dollar tree and it's from the brand it just says just yarn they had a bunch of different colors they have like lighter colors a darker gray the fun brighter colors so I got them all I'll show you guys the colors that I got and these are cool for making pom-poms I already started trying to make pom-poms like little ones that you can add to like those little baskets or to little bunnies bunnies tails I'll show you guys a picture of what I was thinking oh I almost forgot to show you guys this scarf you guys know I love these head scarves this is the best pattern ever look at that so so gorgeous you guys can wear these to wrap your hair up and they have like little tassels at the bottom really cute another thing that I got from Dollar Tree are these little succulent clips and I think these are really cool because I have a bunch of the succulents that they had from Dollar Tree a while back they keep bringing them back every year but this is the first time that it's been on a clip two of them for a dollar and then this is in the craft section it's just like a little wooden sign so in my head I plan on painting this wooden sign and then using this little galvanized piece and taking this off of here and putting it on here so that maybe we can use it for um, a wreath instead so I like this it's it's okay not my favorite but I really like this galvanized part so that's what we're gonna do with that continuing on with the ribbon I want to share these four packs of this is very small thin ribbon but it's gorgeous so they have the polka dot the buffalo check this striped one and then they have this one which is almost kind of like farm and cow country style super duper cool I feel like you can really use these in DIY projects to add to it you could do all different yarns you, you could do a lot with these and I really like it I think like more uh, I always say Dollar Tree more of this more no glitter no bright colors it's neutral it can fit in with a lot of different style especially the farmhouse and I'm definitely here for it now for Easter I want to share one of the things that I was really excited about and it's these little banners and how cute are these little felt bunnies with the little bunny tails on there these are in really fun bright colors they go with the purple and the blue I got two packs of those and you could even deconstruct these and use them in your regular decor if you don't like all the bright colors 
I love that it's already the shape of the bunny. You don't have to do it yourself. So now for the signs, one of my favorite signs has to be this plain wooden sign. It just says Happy Easter with the bunny on here. They had a bunch of different shapes, so like eggs and bunnies, but I like that they only had this one with the words, so you can really make it your own style. It's nice size, it's a good font, and I really like that. Dollar Tree is still loving this little truck situation. A lot of you guys said that you're over it. I think these are cute. I took this off and used it in another DIY, so I like that. This one is a bunny. They have another one which is pink and it has eggs on it, and it just says Happy Easter. One of my favorite signs that they came out with, I think it's new for this year, is this one. It just has a bunch of different arrows, but it says cotton tail crossing, carrot patch, Easter bunny, and then it has all these cute little things on there. And then this one is from last year, and a lot of people bought it and just used this little bunny right here, so you can do that. He's glittery and white. It just says, we believe in the, we believe in the Easter bunny. This one is new for this year, and it says, the hunt is on. This is really nice because it's one of those door tag situations that you can use inside of a wreath, but the yellow color is really beautiful, so I really like this one. I was definitely not too sure about this one I'm like is this for an adult or for a child I have no clue why do his arms and legs move it looks so awkward it's like is he it's a naked bunny <laughs> <laughs> it's just so weird. I don't know. It just weirds me out. But what I wanted was this happy Easter word on here. And this is one Dollar Tree DIY or Dollar Tree item that has no glitter. On here, there's no glitter at all. So I really like that. But I hopefully I'm going to be able to take this off and use this in another project. But I'm like, what is up with this bunny? And his ear just keeps on falling down. But, <laughs> you know. He's special. You're a special bunny. Here's a few more signs. This one just says, bunny, please stop here. This is the same one. I got those for inside of the house. And then this one I think everybody is obsessed with this year. It just says, happy Easter with the bunny and his little feet. Super duper cute. It's not super big, but it is really nice. And this one has just a tiny bit of glitter on his feet. So I love that. This is a four pack of little burlap and twine fabric treat sacks. I love these. I did a DIY with these, I think last year. I'll try to link it if I can remember. But these are so cute. You can take them out and then put them inside of a thing and then put flowers out of them. They look nice. So I love, love, love those. Got a bunch of packs of these carrots because I figured you could use these for a wreath and DIYs. So I got one, two, three, <laughs> That's all. Three packs of them. Some of the stickers, I was really excited about some of the stickers, like these little felt carrots. I feel like these are going to be really cute. They have little felt bunnies and eggs. And then these are my favorite. These are little felt bunny clips. And I thought I could use them on this little thing right here. And they just have like little bunnies that look like peeps almost. And you can just clip them to things. And then I got a bunch of these uh, color your own ornament so they have this one in a bunny I think they also had the egg and the carrot I got all of them and I've already started using the bunny I love them because you can stain them you can paint them and you can make them fit into your own style but they're they're they look nice you know they look really good so I really like these if you guys have not tried these jelly beans from Dollar Tree they're the sweet tart jelly beans you are missing out these taste nothing like a jelly bean but they're so good and they're tempting you can eat the whole bag and the last thing that I got for Easter was this little guy it's a metal bunny and I like that it's metal I like that like it's like actual metal I'm not sure how I'm going to use it or if I'm going to repaint it and look at him his little is this like a bunny kangaroo what the heck is this I didn't even notice his head down there oh my gosh okay I don't know Everything's looking so inappropriate to me today. Get my head out the gutter. So now I'm going to move on to makeup and there are quite a few makeup items and the thing that I was really excited about for the makeup is from e.l.f. They had quite a, new, uh, quite a few new e.l.f. things. This is the e.l.f. Shape and Stay Wax Pencil and bushy brows have been a thing that have been super popular. I see Desi Perkins, she uses soap to get that effect of like a bushy brow, but I thought you would be able to use this as a way to push your brows up and shape them without having to use soap because sometimes the soap can be like a little bit too much. It can make your brows look absolutely crazy. You cannot use too much of it. So I wanted to try this. There's a really cool display from LA Colors which was all of the decades. So they had like the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and they had different like eyeshadows, bronzers, uh, mascaras, just different things from that era. So I tried to get a bunch of different stuff. Here's a highlighter from the 20s, it's called Jazzy. 
Here is an eyeshadow from the 40s. It's called Rosie, and I really love like this dark maroon shimmer shade. And then there's a 90s blush, and then there's a 90s eyeshadow palette, which also looks good. And I don't mind LA Colors um, products. I don't feel like they have super pigmentation like they're not super pigmented I also feel like they don't stay as long but they do work I've used a lot of their eyeshadow palettes and they do work and they're nice and I'm like for a dollar it's cool to try it out so I'll swatch those for you guys when I do the um I'll show you guys swatches of those products now so that you can see what they look like on the actual skin but it's not always the same sometimes it looks different on the eye as well I saw this product from Pons and I was not sure as I look at it now I think that it might be like a skin a skin bleaching cream I'm not too sure but it's definitely maybe like a skin lightening cream so it's called anti marks for natural color beauty cream and it says advanced vitamin b3 double brightening formula boosts skin's natural brightening ability from deep inside and it's made in Indonesia I'm like I'm not sure what that means I definitely do not want to lighten my skin so I'm going to be doing a lot of research before I try this product but if you guys have tried it or if you used it let me know what you think because I'm not too sure and I'm not trying to lighten at all so I'm not too sure about that if I find out anything more I'll put it on the screen now but I did see this at Dollar Tree and I picked it up I definitely have more yes to products than I really know what to do with but when I saw this I knew I had to get it so it's called the yes to coconut two-step lip kit so it's basically like a way to hydrate your lips you put something on your lips and then you put this thing over it it says yes to one paper lip mask so you exfoliate and then you put the mask over top and I'm excited to give this a try because girl my lips have been super duper dry so I want to try this out and see and I even got like this sleep mask from wet and wild so maybe like I can do that whole little system and then try it and sleep overnight and see how it goes I think it's gonna be good I'm excited to try this for a dollar like, I will try anything for a dollar if it's gonna help so we got that I got a few sassy and chic products and I've been very excited with the stuff that I've seen from sassy sass sassy and chic <laughs> that's what I was just about to say. from uh sassy and chic so this is a eyelash applicator sometimes kiss or like other brands like that will give you an applicator in their little package but it's kind of like a little cheapy plastic one this one is made out of metal and it just helps you to put your lashes on and it's shaped so that it can help the lash sit like super duper close and it's pink and it looks like it's good quality so I was very excited about this because I have like the little cheapy plastic one but I'm like to get a better quality one for a dollar that's metal you can't go wrong with that so I got that I always find really good tweezers at Dollar Tree. Like all of my tweezers are from Dollar Tree. So I know that's going to be good. Here is another thing from them and it's their brow grooming kit. It comes with a little wand so that you can brush your brows and then you can use this little shaver to shave around it. Now I don't know if, I, if I'll go too close, but like this area I definitely like to do. And if I need to like touch up this area, I will always do that. Some people actually shape their brows with this. I don't know if I could, but you can get this whole little set two pieces for a dollar. Another thing that I got was this little mitt to wash your makeup brushes and then I got some baby shampoo to try to wash my brushes here it is right here we're, we're leaking a bit y'all my cap fell off um, so I'm gonna mix this with some coconut oil and then wash my makeup brushes to see how it is if I can find something that costs me a dollar that cleans them really well I'm gonna be really happy and this is cool because it just sits right on your finger and normally I'll do it in the palm of my hand and your hand starts to get irritated so this is a cool way to clean your brushes but I haven't used it yet so I'm not sure if it works I'll keep you guys posted okay moving right along I got this nail brush from sassy and chic and it's two of them it has one for your toes and one for your fingers and I don't know about you but ever since I got these nails on underneath will get so disgusting that I need a brush to like get under there and I didn't have one I'm like why do I not have one so now I do and I'm going to keep it in my bathroom and I'm going to use it thank you guys so much for being here there are so many videos that you guys could have chose to watch but you guys are here with me and I appreciate that if you guys are a real one that has made it to the end of the video leave the word tart in the comment section down below Tart, T A R T. Some of you guys say I don't pronounce the words what right, and I know it's probably like my Jersey Philly accent. I do not have good pronunciation. But if you guys are a real one and want to be featured in my next video, leave the word tart in the comment section. Here are a few from my previous video.
love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you're still here, click the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys super soon for another video. Bye, you guys.